Hi there, this is Jen, and today I'm excited to be participating in the month of July's Card Hoppin' event. If you're not familiar with this, it is where a group of us uh, get together and we have a different theme and technique every month. Um, if you are interested in joining the group and participating, um, I'll go ahead and leave a link below. Um, but this month, for the month of July, the theme is sketch and the technique is either clean and simple or grunge. I chose a clean and simple sketch, but I am trying to do a more of a grungier card. So um, I'll pop a picture of the sketch up on the screen so you can see what sketch I'm following. And of course, it's not exactly the same as the sketch, but the layout is pretty much the same. Um, for my card, I am using these really beautiful acetate leaves from 49 and Market. They're actually called Tidal Wave Acetate Leaves in the Spectrum Sherbet collection. I bought them from scrapbook.com. However, when I checked, it said they were out of stock and discontinued, even though I believe I purchased these in April. So I'll see if I can find those somewhere else if you're interested. Um, but now I'm taking the die cut circle that I created and I am using some Karen Pro brush markers. These are basically um, almost like watercolor pens, but they are not. They are actually a dye-based ink inside of the barrel, um, but they work really nicely and blend really nicely with water. And um, the great thing about these as compared to maybe a Tombow is that these markers, you can add them directly to the water on your project, or if it's still wet, you can add the marker on that and it's not gonna ruin the brush nib, uh, which is not the case with the Tombow. Um, I do not like doing that with the Tombows uh, because a lot of times it'll take that color out of the um, end of the brush. Um, but I went ahead and I used almond, rosewood, and gold, and I just took my water brush and blended those colors out a little bit. And then I'm uh, taking some of the acetate leaves from that 49 and Market collection and kind of seeing which leaves I want to use on my final project. And then I'm taking this stamp from my stash and I am using the pine color from the Lavinia Elements um, ink pad. I'm stamping it off twice before I stamp on my actual project uh, because I didn't want the color um, as dark. And so I went ahead and stamped that both on my um, card background and on the circle. And then I'm taking a kind of a script stamp and doing the same with the same ink. And then for this little grid stamp, I am using some VersaFine Black. Um, and again, I'm stamping it off a few times on a scratch piece of paper and then stamping it onto my project. Uh, so I'll go ahead and use that stamp several times as well. And then I will go ahead, I couldn't remember what I did next. And then I will go ahead and um, grab a brushed corduroy in the Distress Oxide and one of the uh, finger daubers. And I'm gonna take that circle and just go around the edge of the circle with the dauber with the um, brushed corduroy. And so I'll go ahead and do that. And then once I have that, um, ink all around the outside of the circle. I'm gonna take one of my blending brushes and push that ink um, towards the center. So it's basically going to light up the lighten up the edge a little bit, as well as move a little bit of that brown ink towards the center. Um, and then I am also taking some VersaFine Black and I'm just wiping the edge through that black ink uh, to get that little bit of black um, edging around the circle. And then because it takes the first my black forever to dry, it seems like I went ahead and I added some clear um, embossing powder and used my heat tool to set that uh, just because I didn't want to wait for it to dry and have it smear on me. And so I just, uh, it's an easy way to go ahead and prevent that. And then for my uh, card panel for the background, I'm using the um, Uncharted Mariner in Distress Ink as well as the Salvage Patina. I'm taking those ink pads, just swiping them across kind of that middle portion of the card panel. And then once I have that, I'm gonna spritz it with a little bit of water and then uh, mop up that water with a paper towel. And then I'm gonna grab the circle again and I am using a, dis a Distress Edger tool. It's just got like a little blade in it. Uh, that you run around and it will uh, distress the edge. Uh, you can use a pair of scissors for this if you don't have one of these. 
You can even then rip it or um, take something that's got a little bit of texture and rub it against it and that will uh, give it the same effect. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and adhere that circle to my panel. And then before I add my acetate elements, I'm going to splatter a little bit of gold watercolor as well as some black acrylic ink. This is a Liquitex uh, liquid acrylic ink in the color um, black carbon and I'm gonna splatter a little bit of that. And then I'm gonna start adding my acetate pieces. And to adhere these pieces, I am just using my regular uh, tape runner. Uh, I'm adding that uh, tape runner on the underside of the acetate. It's not gonna show through because, partly because of the pattern on the acetate and partly because of the pattern in the background. And I've found that with acetate and with vellum, it's really easy to hide the tape if you are putting it against a background that is got a pattern or um, something like that and it kind of disguises the adhesive so that you can't see it. And then I'm taking one of the butterflies. I added a little bit of tape behind the middle portion of the butterfly and, and kind of folded the wings up. And then the sentiment says, believe in yourself. It is one of the Tim Holtz sentiments, um, which I actually found um, at Joann's. And that's going to finish off my card for today. Um, I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to check out um, all of the other participants in the hop. We love your feedback and comments. So um, please go ahead and show some love to um, everybody. It is a fairly small hop this month. So um, I hope you can stop by each channel. Um, that is it for me. If you like this video or found it informative, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. As always, I thank you so much for spending some time with me today and I hope to see you next time.